Welcome to our Tag Inspector training series. I wanted to go through just a quick little overview of how to leverage Tag Inspector, specifically Tag Inspector Real Time, to validate, check, and monitor the activity and the data being populated within a data layer or any global JavaScript object that's being populated on your page. So we have a lot of clients that are you know, starting to build out the data layer and really leverage it as a part of their tag management setup. And a common complaint that we hear is just the difficulty with going through testing the data layer um, and being able to monitor it, monitor it and make sure the data points are being populated as expected um, on an ongoing basis. So obviously the traditional approach you could come in um, so the console will actually type in the name of that object and you can see all information that is contained within that. What Tag Inspector allows you to do is our system, our Tag Inspector, in the live environment, as actual users are going through and interacting with the website, what we can do is on each page validate that certain uh, either variables as well as values are present and being populated as expected. So to access this functionality, we're going to use our validation rules within Tag Inspector Realtime. So once you're in the Realtime module, come over here on the left-hand side, click Validation Rules. It will take you into the area where all those validations are occurring. To create a rule specifically for the data layer, just go to Add Rule. You'll be in the My Rules section. You can name it you know, Data Layer Validation. Let's call it the Page Category here. So on many websites, you're going to be defining a page category, a page name, or a page type across all pages of the website. Now this is extremely useful for the purpose of conditionally firing tags only on certain sections of a site or on certain types of a page. Um, specifically with a lot of your advertising, media, marketing tags, maybe firing a certain event for product detail view pages if you're an e-commerce website um, and making sure that tags fire conditionally on those pages always as they're expected to. Well, in order to do that in your tag management system, you're gonna have that firing rule or that trigger configured to look for something like a page category within the data layer. So to make sure that's always being populated on our website, what I can do is create a validation rule for it. So in the top section of the validation rules, what do you want to validate? At the top level here are the different options. So I'm gonna come down and select global JavaScript variable. I'm gonna say whatever my, that variable or whatever that data layer, that object is called. So in the case, if you're using, for example, Google Tag Manager, by default, the data layer is gonna be called just data layer. And that's exactly applicable to um, the example I've given here. So just a, whatever you would type into the console in order to be able to get that object to come up, that's what this first section is going to be. How our system works is because we have this option selected, check these values during the window unload event. So during the window unload event, we're going to capture uh, all the values, everything that's contained within that data layer, and it's going to run through this validation. So I'm going to say the data layer, typically you're going to either use the contains logic, so it just contains some value, uh, making sure that that is contained within the object, or um, might be a matches a regex. So for page category, on most websites it's going to just be called page category within the data layer. So I'm going to say global JavaScript variable, data layer, matches regex, and I can just do sub category. I can do the dot stars around it for anything, but sub category. Because I want to be checking this across all pages, I'm going to have when this rule should be applied, all pages. So it's going to be when the rule should be applied, all pages, and the logic here is working that on all pages, whenever a user, you know, on your website with a page on which real time is implemented. Whenever a user hits that page, does whatever they do on the page, loads it, on the window unload event, so when they're leaving, 
our system will capture that entire data layer object. And in this case, we're looking for subcategory to be contained somewhere within that. That's going to make sure that our, our variable there for the page subcategory is always present and that's always being pushed into that data layer. We can do this for you know a number of other use cases. Uh, some of the more common ones are looking for maybe a transaction ID, transaction value on an order confirmation page, uh, looking for these different types of page attribute uh, variables contained within the data layer across all pages of a website, um, and many more. If you have any questions or a specific application uh, question for how to do this, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, in the meantime, check out some of the other content around the data layer, around tag management, around validation, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you here on the next training video. Thanks, everybody.